Hey yo, WWD, and today we are going to go over how to properly breed king snakes because king snakes, as some people should know, or if you didn't know, any snake that has king in it means that they eat other snakes. So I'm gonna go over how to breed them. I don't know if they're gonna hook up the first time. I usually wait a month after brumation to even hook up my king snakes together and I usually move the female down to the males males area and I also feed them the night before so this is our big female and she looks like she's even though she ate she looks still pretty big so she might be in ovulation uh, so we're gonna move her down and make sure that they are together and I'll show you what to watch for and how they usually breed. Here's our grumpy boy. So the items that you're going to need, oh look at him, he's ready to strike. So the items that you're gonna need is a snake hook, sanitized, so that the other snakes that you have touched are not on it. And this is to pull them apart in case the male or the female gets hungry. And then the other thing you're going to need is a credit card or debit card. So if the male does latch on or the female latches on to eat the other one, you can peel them off of each other. So those are the two items that you're going to need. And then you're going to probably need about 30 minutes of your own time to sit here and watch them and make sure that they either breed or if they don't breed separate them and try in the later date so I am going to pick up my female right now hopefully she doesn't rip me a new one usually she's pretty gentle hey sweet girl yeah she's doing good yeah she's one of my sweetest snakes I got so we're gonna pick her up and sorry it's blurry and stuff but we're gonna move her down to the male and we're just gonna introduce them and hopefully they go right into breeding usually it only takes about 10 minutes sometimes it takes longer but we'll see what happens and I'm gonna stay right here and keep you updated because you need to watch them or they will eat each other so she's doing some head twitching noticing him usually last year she went to him and she he was not interested and he fled the scene but this year it looks like they might be ready to go first time that'll be awesome so let's see what happens here sitting quietly waiting for snakes to breed so what happens here is the male tries to trace the female's body and then they intertwine and then he'll get his tail ready and intertwine their tails together as well so it looks like he's trying to find the tail end of her while she is trying to move forward there's not been any attacks or feeding responses at this point and he also took a big crap in his watering bowl before this even happened I would consider that you feed them both the night before and either wait a day or put them in the next day so here he goes he's gonna follow that tail as he follows the tail oh, maybe he's looking at me but he's gonna follow the tail up and then try to fo follow the female all the way up as well but he's getting confused with his own body and now is more interested in me so another cool tip is if they are not mating right away that you can tease the male into breeding with the female by using his own shed from the following year you just gotta soak it and then throw it in there or you can also uh, just put him in a car and put him in like uh, what are those things called those silly little pillowcases and put them in a car drive around the block and come back and I've heard that worked uh, last year I almost did that but I tried later on 
and the month and they went together very well. Uh, I usually wait a month because it gives them time to feed and get their first shed in and then it also gives time for the female to push out the pheromones. This process usually takes anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour and when they're locked it takes anywhere from 45 minutes to 5 hours as last year I had them hooked up for about 5 hours. Oh, there's some movement. What's happening down here? Oh, she's looking interested. So usually the female will be most interested and the male will be like, oh heck no, because the female is bigger. And then usually I do this process a couple of times with the introduction and about a month later they'll usually hook up or they are into each other and I'll wait another month and feed them and kick the temperature a little bit higher and then they'll do good the second month. So here he comes. Oh, he's looking interested now. He's smelling her and now he should start following her body all the way up until their tails meet. It took about 10 minutes but here we go. See how he's tracing her and following her all the way around. So now he's gonna line his body up with her and keep following her. There we go. I should definitely made a joke about the debit card because you're going to have to buy another snake if they get in a fight, but that was not a good joke for the time. So now he's going to be tracing her, and if you go in the back here, hopefully I don't interrupt it, but now they're going to try to hook their tails up right here. There he goes. Come on. Come on. And usually, a lot of people, males will start biting the side of their neck. That doesn't mean that they're going to eat the female, but just to hold on so she stops moving so they can lock tails up. And I'll show you how what a lock needs to look like when he finally gets there. This process usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes depending on how many times the male is bred. Last year it took about 45 minutes just for him to even get a lock on her. But it's looking pretty good, no aggression, and they look like they're hopefully gonna hook up he just needs to keep following her body up which I don't know what he's waiting for right now okay here we go again he might bite onto her this time and if you see the male's tail that's on the left side his cloaca is already out that means he's really ready to breed and hopefully he locks up with her this time uh, this has been about I don't know about 10 minutes uh, since that last little clip and he's still trying to lock up with her so we'll see if he can get it the second time through here he goes he's gonna try to get under there with both of his hemipenes and hook up to the female's tail oh never mind now he's gonna have to start all the way over oh maybe not maybe he can do it oh he's trying right there come on come on brother you can do it Hit her with that Riz game. Oh, nope. Looks like she is pushing him off right now. Oh, here he goes again. Let's see if he can do it. This takes a couple of times. There we go. Got it. That's a good lock right there. Heck yeah. So in the second after he's had it in for a little bit, uh, you can actually like pick up his tail because they'll be both calmed down and not worried about anything. Even though she's trying to escape right now and say that you're not having any Riz game but he right now is tr hooked to her and you can actually like pick up both their tails and show that it's a good lock in a second I need to get her back in so she doesn't try to run away anymore but yeah that should be a good lock right there that's amazing that took about 25 minutes to finally get one Okay, so he only has one hemipene in, but as you can see, you can literally pick up their tails and they're connected. So that's what a good lock looks like. Oh, he just, he just, I just screwed that up. Usually that doesn't happen, but now he has to re-lock. So after you get one solid lock, you're going to want anywhere from two to three locks 
before you know that she's going to have really good eggs. Uh, last year, if you remember when I first started this uh, YouTube channel, she had 13 eggs. So this year, we're hoping for a couple more. And she's not looking as interested as he is. But hopefully he gets one more lock and then I can show you how stuck together they are when they lock. This is his third attempt now to try to lock with her. As you can see his hemi peens are popping out. Getting ready to hook with her tail again as we just watched in the other process. And I'm just showing you this all this information because it does take a long time or somewhat a long time. We've been here for probably about an hour now um, and just waiting for him to actually hook up and breed. He hasn't bit her this time. I was hoping to show you guys that so when you guys do breed, breed king snakes you can see that they actually bite the side of, side of the neck so hopefully you can uh, hopefully he does that. Maybe not. This time he's not so and there we go again. Uh, I think he's locked in again. And this time if he doesn't move anymore, I'm just going to leave it as a good lock. And maybe in another video I'll show you how they're connected. But usually you can pick up their tails like I said before. And they'll stay connected. And they'll actually like intertwine each other so much that they don't come apart. Even if you pick both the snakes up. Look at him. What a beautiful man. Look at those markings. So, right now this would go into my book of keeping records of the snake as a good lock for the uh, for this part right now. And as you can see, they are totally twisted up right now. And then it will be about an hour to two hours uh, for them to complete breeding. So right before we go, so they look like they're hooked up again, so that's good. And uh, like I said, you're going to do this two to three times for her to actually have eggs. And if you get them early enough in the season and they have eggs, you can actually double clutch her up uh, if, it's, uh, if your snake's healthy enough and stuff like that. Sorry about that little stutter, but... Yes, this is how king snakes breed. I just wanted to put an informational video out there because there's not a lot of people that talk step by step through the process of the breeding. So this is what it looks like. And if it doesn't look like this, your king snake's probably trying to eat your other one. And they're locked up again. So this is the third lock in this one session. But you're going to want to have more sessions, obviously, like I said. And then about two months after their last lock, the female will do a pre-shed. And then you need to put a humidity hide in there for her and her eggs. But with king snakes, uh, you need to make sure that when they, or sorry, when uh, they lay their eggs, you need to get the eggs out of there as fast as you can. Because the females actually will eat their eggs because they were hungry for two months holding those eggs. And that will be the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. And we're out. Whoa.